are listening to ComedySlamRadio.com. From our studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So pop some popcorn, grab a smooch buddy, and settle in for another fine show from ComedySlamRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in to the Let's Be Frank show on ComedySlamRadio.com, where we bring you national touring and celebrity comedian interviews. Follow us on Twitter at Let's Be Frank Show. And if you miss our live broadcast, you can find us on Stitcher Radio and iTunes at Let's Be Frank's Podcast. And please contact us with any questions or information about advertising and sponsoring at Let's Be Frank with Dave Frank at Yahoo.com. Good evening. You are back with another great episode. Of Thanks for listening in to the Let's Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm going to be doing then. With my intro. What are you doing, man? You're messing with my mics. What's going Sorry on? Sorry about that, man. All the pressure. The pressure got to me. Listen, I'm sitting in here. It's not like I'm my fat Davy is on your shoulders or nothing. What'd you do? What'd you, is like the whole intro uh, messed up? Well, we have a live event this weekend, and um, we use the mics that were in there. And obviously, somebody, probably me, plugged it right into the wrong holes. Nice. So, like, so now Mike, you have a problem with your whole plugging and holes. That's fucked yes. up, man. Don't take your personal shit out on my show. This is fucked Sorry up. Sorry about that, man. So we're not going to repair it. I get to like five free punches in the arm? Uh, yeah, in the awesome. solar plex. Fine. All right. So again, let's get back to the Let's Be Frank show. We got a great show tonight. We have a, oh, we got a caller already. You're live on the Let's Be Frank show. Hi, um, I wanted to talk to uh, Justin and Kent, if I can. To who? Justin and Kent, are they not uh You are on the wrong show, brother. Their no, show that ended was about... Show. Oh, no. That was a show prior. Yeah, who, that was the past show. Who, uh, who is this, <laughs> what, by the way? What are, guys, what, are guys, what are you guys talking about now? Uh, I'm a comedian, and I interview comedians. We're going to have a comedian stopping by and another comedian calling in. Lisa Landry's calling what in. What do you and, think that... What, what do you think the basis of comedy is? Do you think comedy is like a, like a one two three? Is it just absurdity, or is there is there some sort of some sort of mathematical equation? What do you guys think, both of you? Uh, there's only one of me in the room right now. So are, are you calling me fat? Oh, I'm sorry. The other guy hasn't called in yet. The other guy hasn't. Called in. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do you think? Is there a I think that there's multiple, scientific equation to this. I think that there's a lot of different well, levels of comedy. Uh, some are pretty simple, and some are more elaborate. Some do require a lot of thought and proper setting up and really set to set the stage for a joke. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of thought in it, Do you buddy. think there's anything that's, do you think there's anything that's, like, strictly not funny, no matter what the context? No, I don't. I think anything can be, <laughs> no, I think anything and everybody could be made fun of. Fuck them if they can't take a joke I gotcha. in most cases. That, that's good. Yeah, there shouldn't be any lines. Well, yeah. thanks so much, man. You've been really, uh, really helpful. All right. Thanks for calling into the Let's Be Frank show, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a good night. <laughs> thanks. Well, isn't that nice? Random calls in for other people's show. With a couple of good questions, though. Tried to put me on the spot. I answered it like I feel it, like I feel. Call it like I feel it. See it. Whatever you want to call it. But I did want to tell you I had a great experience this weekend. I was invited out to do some comedy for uh, the veterans in St. Pete. It was a great opportunity to be at the uh, sports bar Ferg's in St. Pete. Uh, a lot of people out there, great time. A couple of different radio stations like 94.1. Uh, got to perform with some comedians, uh, Kieran Quinn, James Bailey, uh, John Mann, myself, Fat Davey. It was a good time. I ate some hot dogs, some fries. You know, those are just the things that happen when you're a fat guy out of the show. But tonight we got Kojo Prince, who came up in comedy in New Jersey, and we're going to have calling in in a couple of minutes. Uh, Lisa Landry, who not originally from New York, but she started her comedy in New York, and she's been very successful, has a couple of CDs out. We're going to talk to her about that. We're going to get that call going in just a couple of minutes. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, beat Kojo's ass. Oh, Kojo's ass is about to get beat just as I say it. He walks in. Like Saved by the bell. Leave it to a brother to be late five minutes. Hell Leave yeah. it to See, You see, weren't on what, break. You were on the drive. What happened was. <laughs> get up there on the microphone, man. What happened was. Man. What happened was. Me and Earl, right? Me and Earl. <laughs> it's like, um, and yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you got to get up here on the mic, brother, so they can hear you. Okay, how you doing? 
Not too bad. Thanks for coming in and fighting that. What did you have to fight that? 275 traffic? 275 traffic is, is crazy. Right next to like the, the, the chicken and, and waffles house is nuts. Only. The chicken and waffle house. You know, I have never been there. I, it's, it's not that big, I'm telling you. All right. So you can see I'm not that ethnic as I want to be. I'm trying to portray, but I came from a white neighborhood. I'm trying. You, you, hey, you brought up chicken and waffles, You're calling brother. my bluff, that's a, man. You're that's calling a down my bluff. south food. I just told them you're from Jersey. I am. I'm, hey, I, you've been I'm, making, you got to make a right-hand turn to go left. you backwards. That is, Jersey is nothing but a big olive garden with a whole bunch of exits. <laughs> that's, that's all well, it is. I know you just got here. In about two minutes, we're going to reach out and call Lisa Landry. Okay. But uh, real quick, tell the people a little bit about you started your comedy in New Jersey. Yes. And what brought you to the stage the first time? Give them a quick rundown about yourself. The first time was that, see, it's like, a, it's like a family legacy. My mother sang with Harry Belafonte for like 10 or 12 years. And my grandmother's opera singer, great-grandmother uh, performed in vaudeville. It's in my blood. So oh, I started in 92. Right. And just did it a couple of times and just stopped. What made you the first time say, okay, today's the day I'm going to get on the stage? Or Because if they're all it. singers, how the hell are you doing comedy? Because I, I couldn't sing. Oh, well, there you go. I, I couldn't sing. And it just, <laughs> it's, it's a hard, it's like, it's, it's a hard addiction. It really is. It's like you just can't, I, I got to do it. I got to get up there. I, I agree. It's, uh, I don't get up as much as I'd like on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great. We keep saying we don't get up. That's fucking awesome. Uh, perv moment. Um, <laughs> but no, man, I. I don't, you know, sometimes I get up on stage six, eight times a month between open mics but and see, a couple of shows. Down here, it's hard, man. It's hard. It's hard, but I also have a full-time job, so oh, I'm not out there. Oh, and again, God. I'm only two years into the business. You're, you're more trying to make your paychecks off of this where I'm still working on it. Pretty much. So, you know. So how's it going for you, man? You it's, making paychecks? How's it's, it working? Again, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, honestly, I moved down here because I had to because my wife was a doctor. So that's where the money that's comes. That's where the, you got to go You're, because. You, you mooch it off the wife so you could be yep, the starving yep, artist. Yep, 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 high yep. five, high, high five. I'm looking for a sugar see, mama too. What had happened was right <laughs> um, that um, me and her. Oh, no, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop because if she listens to it, she might cut you off. She ain't listen to this. <laughs> she, no offense to you. That she just like, she, my comedy to her is like, well, because she knows certain jokes in my routine yeah. about her. Yeah, I know, like when you're talking about having sex with the woman when yep, she's asleep. and her gray hair, gray hair and a coochie. <laughs> the gray hair and a coochie is her. Yo, I got so disappointed. I found my first gray hair on my chest. And you, oh, on your chest. I thought you said. Yeah, I can't see my balls, dude. I'm fat. I thought you said, because I did. I thought, I, thought I know was, that's what you were thinking. I thought it was lint. I'm All like, right. this is a stubborn ass <laughs> No, I found it on my chest, and then I, I just shaved that shit right off. I went down to bear. But hey, <laughs> we got Lisa Landry in. Let's bring Lisa in. Lisa, how are you? Hello. How wow, are, how, how are you? I am doing great. Thank you for calling in tonight. Thank you for having me. I also have in the in the studio, I have Kojo Prince, a comedian. He started up up in New Jersey there a few years back. Yep. How are you, Lisa? Yeah. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm trying, I'm so I'm trying to curb you. my new, my Jersey accent. So I'm saying, hi, how are you? <laughs> Just be yourself, man. Okay, well, you guys. You're gonna hear a mixture of from Lisa. You got a little like New Orleans, New Manhattan in you now. It's gonna be even hard to keep up with her. She's yeah. fast. Where's she, she from? Ask her, Lisa. Where are you from? I'm Tell from everybody. New there you I'm go. From, yeah, originally. You had, so you were you hello now, hello I'm here. So did you start your comedy in New Orleans, or you waited once you got to New York is when you hit the stage the first time? Yeah, I started in New York. It's it's, it's real hard to have comedy in uh, New Orleans. Because, you know, it's like dollar drops and half-naked women on the sidewalk. So who wants to pay a cover to hear jokes? Right. Very true. It is a party town for everything else aside from comedy out there. So, so tell Pretty us much. what's There's been... There's a lot of good music. Yes, there is. So tell us what's been going on with you up in there, up in New York and comedy. What have you been up well, to? Well, I live in Los Angeles now. Okay. And, um... It's weird. I'm, I'm ha I have a really weird connection with you. Um, everything I'm saying is coming back into my other ear. It's bizarre. Mm, but I live in I live in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, sorry, it might be because of the cell phone that there's a little reverb and you're hearing that back. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we can't do anything about that. Um, <laughs> it, it, uh, if you want you not nah, if you want us to call you back, we can to see if the call's better, but. It doesn't, you don't, no, you don't, cool. yeah. I want you, it, it's just funny, it, it sounds like, um, it, it sounds like, a, like, I'm talking, to, it's weird. All right, just let it go. 
Uh, like when you, it doesn't yeah. go over the mic. Nobody will hear it on the show. It's just the voices in your head. You probably have more than one anyway. Most comics do, I hope. Or the black guy stealing your minutes. Yeah, I have a That's fucking drum circle things. in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you moved out. How long ago did you move out to L.A.? Um, I think it's been like four years. All right. Now, um, you. I mean, obviously you've been in comedy a while now and... You're actually to the point. Didn't you just release a new DVD in the last year? Yeah, I put out a new DVD last year. And for Billionaire. Was, yep. How's that going for you? I love it. I'm very happy with it. It's a three camera shoot in Denver. Yes. And I guess you really shouldn't say shoot in Denver in the same time right now. <laughs> but, uh, Understandable. It's a, yeah, it's a, it, it was fun. I'm in a parking lot right now, and I, I, I'm so distracted. I have very bad ADD, like really super bad. And so <laughs> we got this, this weird thing happening with the phone call, with the, with the reverb. And I'm watching. I don't know why. It looks like there's a tailgate party. I'm nice. about 20 miles north of San Francisco, and there's a bunch of redneck-looking white boys with baseball caps and pit bulls in, in San um, Francisco? pickup trucks. <laughs> and they're not rednecks, honey. Trust me, that's the butch. The butch. <laughs> that's, that's the butch, okay? The butch in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's bizarre. <laughs> I'm from the South. I didn't know we drove this far, you know, just to hang out at the Starbucks parking lot. How could you not? You're from New York City. You went to the village. You've seen that before. <laughs> there are some freaks in the village. Not, no, no, not like this. This is bizarre, man. Speaking, I have a question. <laughs> how do you, in comparison to L.A. and New York, how do you see the scene? Because I'm strictly like on the East Coast. I've only been to L.A. maybe three, three, about three times. How do you see the difference between like New York, New Jersey versus like LA in comedy wise? Uh, comedy wise. Um, LA has a lot more alternative type comedy. That's more the, the West Coast genre of comedy. And um, you, uh, the audiences, I, I find the audiences are more diverse in New York. Yeah, that's huh? very true. Yeah. That is the you melting know? pot. Yeah. Like, you know, you'd be on stage and people in the audience, they work on Wall Street, they drive buses, they teach, they don't have jobs, they, you know, graphic design or whatever, students. And, you know, in L.A., it's it's everybody in the audience is also a comedian, an actor, a producer. Yeah. It's a, it's a very different, it's a very different. Is it, a, it's, it seems like it would be a tougher crowd to play in front of. Yeah, it's tougher, um... It's tougher because it, it's, you know, it's just like when you perform for other comedians, you know, because that's what we do, too. You know what I mean? The yeah, it's like every mic. every open mic that I've the ever been to. Open mic, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like that, but, you know, I mean, they're good audiences. I just, I miss the diversity of, of a New York crowd or an East Coast crowd as compared to, like, you know, your average L.A. crowd. No, it makes, it makes total sense. There's more... Someone just pulled up with another pickup truck. I gotta, I gotta figure out what these cats are up to. Are they drinking? I get off the phone. They, they got out the the forties. Huh? Are they got the forties of hooch out there to share? It's the Butch Gay Fest. I'm trying to no, tell no. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Butch Gay Fest. They're they're out there secretly eating Chick Fil A. Yeah, right. <laughs> Trust me, that with, uh, with with leather chaps. Believe me, with no jeans. <laughs> what what are you? Oh man, that is so great! I just I just started thinking about Chick Fil A. Mm. <laughs> well, you can't eat that anymore. You don't eat it anymore. Because, no, you know I don't I don't like it anyway. But uh, you know, being called an arrogant generation or whatever, like you can have your own opinion. That's totally you know. If I don't agree with it, big deal. It's your it's your it's your opinion. But to like cap on a generation of people who believe that marriage should be for anybody who wants to be married call it arrogant and prideful and basically we're in burning hell i well, mean that's just that's just taking it too far i feel you know, so out of loop i mean bad. you know what i just i got a newborn son i just watch him i don't really get a chance to do anything except watch mickey mouse playhouse what is the chick-fil-a story oh my god kojo okay yeah Chick it's hard after you have a baby so you gotta you gotta you gotta take your um you gotta take your computer into the nursery <laughs> it's mickey mouse playhouse basically you know, it's all i have no no, for real. I, I have a kid, and I know that that first six months, you're just like, you know, shit for brains. Mm. You know, I was watching some of your comedy, and you sure. talk about taking have about when you're taking care of your kid and uh, how everything changes after you get married and after you have kids, which at this point I have no clue because I'm still single and no kids that I know of. You know of? Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure, but... <laughs> 
There might have been one that got away that I don't know about, but I'm pretty sure not. So how much is your comedy? You probably got a phone call by now. <laughs> so has your comedy changed at all, really, since before and after, you know, becoming a mom and getting married? How much of it crazy were you before the marriage? Because oh. most of your stuff that I've seen has been after you've been married. Yeah, that's it's weird because uh, that's when I started getting most of my stuff is like after I got married. But I'm actually getting divorced, so yeah, my act is pretty changing uh, rapidly, ah, changing so, pretty rapidly. So we're gonna have another uh, torn relationship on a CD, maybe. Uh, I hope not. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> another relationship? Is that what you said? Well, no, no, I no. I mean, so. no, no, no. I mean, a lot of comics have used divorces in their routine for material. That's all. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh. I don't know how much of the divorce I want to use. Um, I'm trying to have a civilized divorce, but I'm, I'm not getting that same, uh, that same vibe is not being reciprocated oh, at see. the moment. All right. um, well, I don't know how pleasant that would be for material. Right. Well, I wish you the, the long run. I wish you the best with that situation. I hope it works out the way you want it. Hmm. There's a lot that could be said. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want. <laughs> but yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's crazy, man. We it, were together 15 years, so it's like uh, seriously starting over. 15? I bet. I she bet, yeah. sounds you know? like she's like 22. She still looks like she's 22. <laughs> she's still a very beautiful she sounds woman. Like, For like, me? Yeah. I mean, I, can I, I, can I curse? That. I can't curse in front of her. She's a kid. I can't say anything. Okay. Yeah, Why? You You're sound here, you're so you're young. Listening. When you said married for 15 years, I'm like, wow. Wow. I okay. just I just pulled your fa no, your uh, website up so he could see okay. how you look. I, I saw the face jump out. Okay, excuse me. Now he's have excited. You, have you dated black men before? <laughs> <laughs> down, boy, down. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? He's out. <laughs> no, it's up. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Kojo, you're so bad. Well, you know how they are. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, funny. So hey, I had a yeah, I had I, a, go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, I, I had a question for you because there was a little bit of a gap between when you released your first CD and when you released the DVD. I wanted to ask because a lot of people out there, like myself, who haven't gotten even close to the point of DVDs and CDs, uh, when you felt that you were ready for that, what was the process like? You know, how hard was it? to get to that point or, oh, you know, the whole see. putting it together. Good question. The CD is much easier to make because you just, you know, you just hire somebody to come out or you can just get your own equipment and, um, and just record a show. Right? Is that how you did but it? The DVD. Mm -hmm. Is that how you did it? You just came out, you did a show. I and hired, somebody no, it? I, yeah, I hired a sound engineer okay. to, uh, to tape the show. And then with the DVD, I had to hire a production company. So it's a lot more, it's a lot more. Um, it's a lot. Involved. It's a lot more expensive, mm -hmm. and also it's a lot more work because you have to figure out where you want your cameras, and you have to do all the lighting, and it's it's uh, and then the editing and everything. So it's quite a process. I'd recommend you just put out a CD for the first time. There you go. Definitely. And you at know? this point, you pretty much just put it out on iTunes. You don't even have to have a hard copy. Right. Yeah, that's the that's the way to do it. Um, I don't think I would make another DVD. It's a lot of stress. So on a, I like it. Sure. But I wouldn't do it again. Like it, my kid. I like it, but I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I like, like practicing geez. making them, but I haven't decided to actually finish the job. <laughs> don't, want, don't want to do, don't want to have yeah. kids again. Really? Practice makes perfect. You know, you never huh? say you don't want to have kids again. No, I got one. That's it. I'm well, one hold on. Done. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever dated a black man? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I don't, don't, don't worry about me. I'm from Jersey. Don't worry me. I'm, I'm stupid. Don't worry. <laughs> Luckily, your wife doesn't listen to my show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Usually when I'm, when I'm doing an interview and someone's flirting with me, I'm in a studio with them. <laughs> Yeah, but Kojo don't care. This is a first. Yeah, come on, you know, <laughs> again, I'm from New York, New Jersey. I like come on, it. you know, you know how we are up there. You like it? This is like, like her first, her flirtatious encounter. It's almost like. Oh, that's right. She's divorced. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Norm, as she said, 
You know, it's yeah. funny because I was watching an interview with you that happened. Uh, I think it was in was it two thousand nine. You went on a on oh. a. The guy forgot to ask you any questions at all. He just flirted with you the whole yeah. time. Yeah, dude, that was like that was last. That was just uh, last Christmas. We yeah, the, um, <laughs> and he probably the was a and It was so weird too because you know, like a lot of times when you do these TV, the, the news shows, they ask you. Well, they tell you what they want to talk about, right. or they'll ask you like, give us three or four questions, or give us five questions, or whatever, because they want to make sure you're going to do something crazy on the air, you know, um, or say something that's going to you know, really piss people off or get the FCC calling. Right. So, uh, I gave, I gave them exactly what I wanted to talk about so I could promote the show. And I don't know what happened, but he didn't ask me a single question. You yeah. Know, he my, just, that's on my, that's on my website on the YouTube channel. Yeah. That's, I watched it. I, I just laughed because I mean, I, I interview people all the time and this guy's been interviewing people for years and he just fell victim to those beautiful yeah. eyes and couldn't talk about nothing. <laughs> He forgot to ask any questions or he was offering he was, it. He's he like, was, do you want my he, coat? He Can I give you? Yeah. He's like, he had creeper. He kept trying to give me his jacket. Yeah. He's like, you can wear it tonight. Yeah. Was, was he European? He... I don't know. He was, he was creepy though. It was weird. It was, it was, it was like Anchorman. It was yeah. like, oh, like oh. in real life. Tight polyester pants with it a bulging crotch. <laughs> bulging crotch, uh, polyester pants. Bizarre. Gotcha. Nice. Pretty much, you just kept getting lost. There's like a whole, there's like a whole thirty seconds of dead air time. Where Ew. Just like Ooh, baby, looking. That, that <laughs> yeah. Now that can't be the That's first time that, that you've had a guy a little bit uh, taken by you, though. You know, but I guess on TV you're supposed to have a little bit more etiquette and professionalism. Well, well especially so... if you're the anchor man. Yeah. <laughs> He's the anchor man for like twenty years there. I don't know. It was just an awkward. It was funny, but it was awkward. And uh, I oh, know. I bet. I mean, everybody seemed to be having a good time, but you almost had a look on your face like I can't believe he hasn't asked me a question or like, <laughs> like, dude, really? Like, like you just. I'm like not gonna want... have anybody at the show. Like, creepy, <laughs> creepy guy with a van. Creepy guy with a van. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's my type. <laughs> well, you're in the right spot for it in San Francisco with those butches walking around with those leather chaps. I thought you were about to just say, "Have you ever dated a black man?" Well, no, we already got enough problems. Not going to be a creepy black man. Come on, that's, that's bad enough. <laughs> I figured he was going to work that call back on. <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. I got another one coming. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> yay, yay. He's he's got to pull the typical black guy comments because he showed up five minutes late. Ta da! You know that's typical. Mm -hmm. Typical. <laughs> right. Although I did call you last minute to say, "Hey, come on into the show." True, that was your mistake. You never call a black guy last minute. You might as well call him like the next yeah. day. Last minute, twelve hours ahead of time. Funny. <laughs> 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 so, Lisa, what kind of crazy experiences mm -hmm. do you have out there in comedy? You know, coming up, you know, staying in some of those creepy comedy condos, or just out on the road by yourself and loving it or hating it. You got any crazy stories to um, tell the people? I got a lot of crazy stories. There's a lot of stuff I can't really talk about <laughs> right now because <laughs> I'm getting a divorce. Oh, um, the, the last year of my life has been a total blur. It's been crazy. Um, but yeah, like I've worked, for, I've worked from like Alaska to Maine, you know, right. to Miami. I've, I've, I'm trying to think of some of the crazy. We well, you know what happened today. You want to hear a crazy story today? Absolutely. I'll tell you one. I was leaving. I, I stayed in an art warehouse this weekend because I was working in San Francisco. It's Tommy T's. But it was more like uh, the, the club was just super cool because I was in the area. So they just threw me on the shows. And, um, and I stayed with a friend in an art warehouse, Kate Willett. Very, very funny up-and-coming comedian. Fabulous. And, uh, and I'm leaving the art warehouse today, and I hear this cat screaming at me screaming, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. And I look up, and it's this guy screaming from the building next door. And uh, I'm like, what? And he's like, you know, when you unloaded your stuff, you parked in our parking lot, and you blocked me in, so I think you should give me a CD or a DVD. <laughs> 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 Which is random, right? Yes. That's totally random. Because now I'm thinking, like, you know, I don't, I don't get recognized that much, but especially when I'm, like, packing a car and I look like crap and someone's, like, trying to get merch from me, it's just, it's like the perfect storm of, how the hell do you know me? You know what I mean? Right. So uh, anyway, he came down and I, I gave him a CD because, you know, why not? Right. I did sure. lock him in and uh, it, it's the least I can do. And he comes down and uh, he actually, he's like a, a promoter and 
we took a ride because all the dispensaries are closed in LA. So I wanted to bring something back for a fun thing. <laughs> and uh, that's my life. I, I get yelled at by some guy who is a promoter, and we end up taking a ride to carry. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah, oh, hey, no. there's not that much. Yeah. We, we, we don't have those type of stores out here. <laughs> and scene. Yes. And scene. But I like the, I like the, I like the random, the randomness that is my life. I miss my kid. That's the one awful thing about being away so much, um, is that I don't get to see my little boy. But the rest of my life is pretty damn good. How old is your boy now? He is almost six. That is mm-hmm. a fun age, so I'm sure when you are, I'm sure when you are around, you get to have a lot of fun. He's running around like crazy. That's that's the problem I have now. Like, I don't want to leave. I mean, how many you got? How many you get? You three? How many kids you got, Kojo? See, you automatically think the black guy got more than three kids. No, I got like one. He got no, three no. wives and I, one kid. I got. I got. Oh, I thought, no, I, I got I'm five sorry. kids and I, three I baby thought, mamas. I thought you said you have three. It's the connection. I'm having trouble hearing. No, no, no. I have a uh, um, fourteen, no, fifteen year old daughter and a. 14th month or old son. A 15 year old daughter and an under two year old Are you son. Sh- yep, yep, yep. Are you sh- that, that's, that's your grandkid, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's killing me with my own ethnic jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might as well just come out and, you know, you just let everybody know here. Because that's quite a jump. That is a very big jump, a jump that I didn't want to make initially, but, you know, hey. Dude, but, you don't even look like you're old enough to have a 16-year-old. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm Yeah. How old are you? One guess. Try it. Dude, I don't know. I'm 40. So I, I have you beat by two years. You're 42? 42. All right. What is it about you brothers? You got that skin? You guys, you could you could be 112 and look Black 85. Oh, but hey, hold on, but hold on. Black Black don't crack. Crack. That is so great. And I was waiting. Like, she's not going to use that line, and she? She used the damn line. She's taking all She took my fucking dude, line. Dude, if you're gonna mess with Lisa I'm Landry, sorry. you gotta bring it. You gotta bring it, dude. She's, uh, she's pro. She's quick. She's quick. She's quick. No, but really, honestly, I'm quick. I'm quicker than you with a hack. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, honestly, in my family, if you don't uh, drink or smoke, you you won't really age as much. That's the problem. I mean, a lot of my family members actually have taken drugs and drank, and mm, yeah, I've learned my lesson. Yeah, I figured. You know, I'm I'm a fat guy, so I figure it's all the grease from the burgers that keep my skin nice and the wrinkles away. Because if you stay fat, you just the wrinkles can't come in. Yeah, true. I've seen people who went from like being really big to really skinny, like ooh, Star Jones. <laughs> no, yeah. Santa Claus is old as shit. He ain't got no new wrinkles at all. <laughs> Not that I know Santa, because he never he never came to this kosher boy's house. Um, Lisa, uh-huh. any comments for that? Well, she could have a comment. <laughs> Are you going to convert again? Uh-huh. I can't. You, you could have a comment about being uh, yeah. Jewish because you change religions and you may go. Yeah, back. I'm still Jewish. I'm still Jewish. All right. I'm getting a divorce, but I'm still a Jew. So you're going to stay a Jew. But my thing for Jewish men mm, is not so strong anymore. <laughs> Ooh, take that. Damn. So I'm already out of the race. <laughs> so I'm out. On. I'm <laughs> out just on my so, Judaism. So hold on. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> have you ever been <laughs> with a brother? Now's the time. I can't even Now's do the it. Time. Now. You can't have even you do ever it. Been with a black man? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. Man, you're like okay. You're, there are you're more up. rednecks have shown up. I want to know what this is. I wonder if it's a church group. No, they're circling you. You need to get out of the vicinity now. Mm. Okay. <laughs> if you they start a, a picture, that's like a black guy saying, "Wow, there's another cop." Another take, cop. Take a picture. Another cop. Take a picture and text it to me. Let me help I'm you judge. Let me, let me help you judge. I want to. I want to know what this is. Do, do they have mustaches? Maybe Fight Club. Fight club. Maybe fight club. You right in San Francisco. <laughs> <We're> right. Like <laughs> scratch club. <laughs> Cat scratch club. So so why are you? Taking- I think these guys are straight, man. They're wearing like camouflage shirts and stuff. They're nice. butch from San Francisco. I think it's a militia. A ma- it's a militia <laughs> or a fight club. I'm not sure. A militia in San Francisco. I am scared. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everybody run. No one gets out alive. Man, you cold. From Jersey, hey, what do you want? Damn. <laughs> so, hey, both of you guys have a significant amount of more experience than I do. I'm only in comedy, you know, two years. Uh, while Lisa's taking a picture, yep. why, why don't you share, uh, Kojo, some of your experiences, maybe a, a word of advice for some of the young comics that are coming up 
because I know you kind of bounce back and forth between Jersey and Florida for most of your work. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't really try to stick in Florida as much because it's for comedy. It's, it's, it's bad. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I just don't like it. It's just say you don't get your payday like you do in other states. It's, it's, say, it's, say it like it is. There's nothing weird, wrong. Florida's, I mean, any other place for a vacation, it's wonderful. For comedy, eesh, I can't. It's hard. It's hard. It's like, but mind you, being up in Jersey was not too easy either. Here's a, here's but a true story. the money was better. Oh, much better. Here's a true story. I, at one point in time, lived in a town called Lodi, New Jersey. Right. Five months up the road is a place called Ridgefield Park. I did a show there for... A, I think it was an Elks Lodge, 300 all white male hunters. Okay, I'm not the headliner this time. <laughs> I go up, I get a whole bunch of black jokes. Hey, you know, hey, you know, they come come at you like, hey, uh, how come the uh, black people have uh, white palms? And I know this joke because they say when God made you, you on your you on your hands and knee, hands and knees. Ha ha ha! But I threw it back at him and said, hey, so when you come to shoot us, we can say don't shoot at night. I was just cutting them off. I was just cutting them off, making them laugh. Everything was great. I jump off stage. The next guy comes on. He starts bombing horribly. The headliner comes on, bombs horribly. After a while, the crowds get so rowdy. They're like, boo, boo, the nigger's funny. Bring back the nigger. Now, mind you. Where was this? This is in Jersey, five minutes up the road from where I live. Oh, that's crazy. But mind you, I'm thinking, hey, the nigger's funnier, so that's a double compliment in a sense. I'm (laughs) funnier, but I'm still the nigger. Wow. So, it, oh, I get it all the time. At it, Jersey, you'd be surprised. It just it, up up north has a very much more open kind of feel, but you will hit those patches like, oh, get the nigger off. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, toughs, it toughens your skin. I, I honestly, I I don't really feel it as much. Right. I don't. Maybe it's my sense of humor. Maybe it's the fact that I was raised up north. Is I don't know. It, it just rolls off. It's just another. It just it just you know as long as you pay me. And I don't get tarred and feathered. I don't give a fuck, really. All right. <laughs> Doesn't you got, really matter. You got any blonde haters out there, Lisa? <laughs> Did I hate little blonde white girls? They're like, get the white girl off the stage. <laughs> but hold on. Are you naturally blonde? Huh? You yeah, nat- I used to be. You, you... I was. So I graduated college because then I started. When I moved to New York, I wasn't outside as much. Haha, <laughs> she didn't hear the question. If that makes any sense. Oh, you just huh? yeah, okay, yeah, it does. There, never mind. It hit me. <laughs> never mind. Sorry, <laughs> Ebonics. I'm I I went to Ebonics uh, high high school. Don't worry about it. It makes sense now. Uh, he, he's having a I don't know. He's having a brother moment. Yeah, he's, like what? He, he thought saying? he was gonna catch you, and then okay, he finally this, caught this up to it. your joke. Huh? He thought he was no. gonna catch you, and then he caught up on your joke. Yeah. He was late. Late. <laughs> uh, Ta-da! Look at that black uh, guy late. So what's up? What oh. you figure out? Did you figure out what those guys are doing? No, but they, they one of them saw me taking the picture, and they all turned to stare at me. So I'm just trying to avoid like making eye I contact. I said, get the fuck up out of there. It's okay. This is like a black guy saying, "Ooh, there's another cop car. There's another cop car. Hey, there's another cop car. What is this? A cop party? No, they're coming to arrest your ass. Get out of there." Yeah, you know that is cool. We just are. we are nuts. White people hang out in anything and wait and watch the danger. Black eyes are gone. True. So, Shit's going down. We're gone. You fight with the cops all the time. Like, no, that's not my right. No, do not infringe upon my rights. <laughs> right. I don't do that, man. I just don't get pulled over. I drive a mile and a half to work, a mile to the station, and that's it, man. I'm a boring guy. This is my excitement, hanging out Ooh, with you, talking. I, I as, get... as, as Lisa's yawning in the phone, this yeah, is my you know, excitement. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah. I get pulled over by walking. Just <laughs> what did she say? She said it was the crypto. Huh? Oh. I said it just crept out. It was just, I was. Creeped out. I, was right. thinking of, I got, what? I got a parking ticket today. Where were you parked? I got a parking ticket in San Francisco on the, on the street. <laughs> I just woke up too late to move the car. I had to move it by eight. Oh, that's right. They got that bullshit out there. Oh, what's, yeah. what's the mm-hmm. bullshit out there? You got to be up. Alternate parking side, also side parking. Oh, that sucks. No, yeah, they had a street cleaner and they clean the streets in San Francisco. Especially on Monday, I would think it probably needs it. As a black person say, oh, it's that bullshit again. (laughs) (laughs) Well, hey, man, it looks good. You want to be in an area that looks nice. And for the money you got to pay to live in California, they best be cleaning them damn streets. Very true. 
Very true. That shit ain't cheap. At I was all. looking, you know. I it's looked, pretty, though. It's real pretty. Did, have you, did you ever live right in, uh, I, I was looking, and you always, when you're in a comedian, you always think about where am I going to move, and you say, I'm going to move to L.A., I'm going to go back to New York, but what, what area do you think people go to? It seems like West Hollywood is a popular place when people are trying to go out there to succeed. It's relatively a yeah, little West bit Hollywood cheaper. Is, yeah. Yep. Rio is great. I used to live. Over, I used to live over there. It's great. Right. I like to. Um, I like West LA better because I like being near the water. Right. But uh, West Hollywood is fabulous. It should be fabulous. It's uh, very uh, multicultural there. I got a question for you, Lisa. Yeah. Huh? When I got a question for you. This is like more of like. An, I have a question for you. This is more like a like an industry kind of um, question. When you first started. How difficult was it for you to actually start booking your own shows? Or if you did book your own shows, how did you go about doing it? Um, that's a lot of questions. Um, it's not that hard. I mean, like, you, you, can, you can work every night of the week if you want in New York. I mean, you, you might not get paid, but there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, but- and then, yeah, and then your friends hook you up with paid gigs, and then eventually... You might get a call from somebody who is an agent or somebody who has a room and they've seen you or they've heard about your work and they want to book you, you know, and then it just builds from there. Now, see, that question is, that, 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 that answer is pretty much for, like, the people who are listening. I already know how that kind of works. I'm just trying to, like, feed it to the rest of them because, honestly, I mean, well, I'll put it like this. For those who are listening in the state of Florida, <laughs> doesn't sound familiar, does it? No, it doesn't. That means get out. <laughs> Dude, it ain't that bad. I, you know, it took me just under a year, really, before I started getting a couple of paid gigs. I mean, I haven't been paid loads of money, but you know, a couple of bucks here and there. It's still a part-time thing for me. How, Lisa? How long did it take you before you had your first paid gig? Oh, I don't even remember. I was very fortunate because I got a I had a game show tour right when I started comedy, so that was my first like tour but I wasn't doing comedy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make any sense? Um, and you were involved. So you were involved I was with lucky the game that show. I, when I was on the tour, when I was on the tour, I was working with somebody who wasn't my manager, but we were working together and he actually called and got me a few guest spots at different clubs. And some of those clubs booked me back to, uh, to do, um, we, like work, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I know. Yeah, definitely. I know that that sounds really disappointed. There's these people talking next to me now, really super loud in the parking lot. <laughs> I, um, so yeah, I mean, it could take anywhere from like you know, some people it takes some years, some people it takes some six months, some people like my stuff just happens weird. My my entire career is just a back door, like going through a window. You know what I mean? Right. So um, um, but I guess a lot of people's careers are like that. Like, there's no real rhyme or reason to any of this shit. Amen to that. Yeah, I mean, there you was, know? uh, what was it, Pat Oswald uh, uh, just put out a, I think I just said his name wrong. Holy cow. No, I think it was right, Pat Oswald. Yeah. yeah, Pat Oswald, he just put out the, the letters where he talked about how he said so much of his success was kind of like just being lucky in the moment to be the guy that got booked on that first show, which kind of luckily led to a next TV series. Yeah. So well, that's all that is. That's all this entire your entire career. It's like work hard, work hard, work hard, get lucky. And some people don't get lucky, and some people the, the luck comes and then it goes, and some people get it late. It, you know, no rhyme or reason. Yeah, Rodney Just Dangerfield keep doing the didn't work. get it till he was late. Rodney Dangerfield. That's that's yeah. a freak story. I mean, I was actually watching that. This dude stopped comedy at thirty for ten years. Right. Didn't go back for ten years, but wrote a joke, if not more jokes. Every day for 10 years. So when he went back at 40, he had like 10 years of material. 10 years of material? God, what? What? And he just went, he just started all over again. All hey. over again at 40. That's crazy. Hey, I hope I could do it for 10 years. I'll be happy. Yeah. I'm happy I did it for two years. You know what I mean? I've met a lot of great people. Uh, I've, I, with, with the radio show, I've interviewed and spoken to some extremely great comedians. Lisa, some other very big celebrity comedians. I've noticed from that. Martin Short. All the way, you know, Jackie Mason to the little guys like myself. Then you got little peons like me. Well, you're a bigger little peon than me. You get paid more often. 
you know, more often, but not often enough. Oh, that's sorry about your damn luck, guy. Get, get out <laughs> ho, there. Ho, and get ho, 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 blonde girl's coughing. Blonde girl's coughing. Are you okay? Hi. Are I'm you, fine. Are you okay? Are you sure? <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm thinking somebody was choking you for a second. <laughs> Somebody from the somebody from the no, gang rally, you know, here from the <laughs> that was last night. The nice, whoa, 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 whoa. See, you can't that over- joke just just lost on you. Was he a black man, <laughs> dude? You, here's the deal. Don't wait over- for that. If you don't, I would over- have been disappointed if you didn't. Huh? No, no. no. I was gonna say, dude, you over talked to guests. You miss out on the good stuff. Uh, you know, it's I'm hey, man. It's it like can't it's, be all about the brother. It can't be. It can't be. How can it be? How can it be? <laughs> Just because you match the color of the microphones doesn't make this shit and your domain. And the table. This is, no, that's great. This is my domain. In here, I am master for the next 19 minutes, minutes or 14, 14 or so minutes. I'm still the master. Not of you, but of everything in the world, in my own delusional space. Okay, this nine so by it's... nine room. I am God. <laughs> I am Fat Davy. Bow to me or bring me burgers. Not to be confused at Almighty. Absolutely not. No, you should be kicked out of my fucking show for saying those two words. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's the. Yeah, that's the guy that brought you in. <laughs> you bastard. He. <laughs> I always mess with this one comedian. I refuse to let him on my show just to aggravate him, and he always asks because he really wants to come on. But I just tell him, "Fuck him." Sorry about your damn luck. You can't come on my show. He's too annoying. He gets under my skin. He makes me want to punch people. And I'm not about because he's just an aggravating, what? pain, ignorant, pain in the ass. You don't know. You know that kind of friend you had back in high school that was always wanted to tag along, but you didn't always want her to come mm-hmm. along. And she was just like, "Hi, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. Hi, hi, hi. Let's hang out. Let's hang out." That's the guy. Except, uh, dumb she, as a box she, of rocks. She got it. She got it. She got the reference. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll hear it. He's going to be like, "This is great. I was talked about on his show." Whatever gets you there. We love you, JT. Not really. I fucking hate your guts. No, I don't. I deal with you. Did y'all date or something? No. I th- I've even done com- I just teach guys aggravating. I tell him he's aggravating. I do comedy shows with him. We got a show coming up in a couple of months at uh, Coconuts Jack's Joint in Clearwater. But, you know, we're just the two mm-hmm. guys that dig at each other. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is. Have you performed in um, <laughs> Florida, Lisa? Oh, yeah, she has. Yeah. Uh, side splitters, right? Um, no, I did, I did the, I did uh, the Tampa Improv and the, which other one? Ah. The, um, did you do Snappers or McCurdy? The, um, no, I did, um, oh, heck, I can't remember the name of it right now. The West Palm Beach, West Palm So the Improv. Improv. So the Improv. Okay, got it. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I think, I'm trying to remember where else I've done in Florida. You coming back to Florida anytime yeah. soon? More importantly, you coming back? When are we gonna see you again? Here um, again? I was just, I was just in Tampa not that long ago. Improv. So I don't know. Right. All right. I well, don't know. I'm going to um, my 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 schedule's up on my website. I have it here. I have it up. So we could talk. I about don't know. It. I just know I'm I'm not supposed to be on a plane right now. I know that. You're supposed to be on a plane. Not supposed to be on a plane right now. Well, that's good because you're not. You're what sitting in a you parking lot. Did you have a breast job? What, what's wrong? What? what is a breast job? Are you not huh? allowed to fly after hey, breast Hey, I work? saw on A Thousand Ways to what Die. What are you talking about? I saw on A Thousand Ways to Die that when you have a breast job, you're not supposed to be on a plane for 24 hours. Hey, it was on TV, so it had to be real. <laughs> wow. Oh, I never knew that. Appar- apparently. Fascinating shit that I have learned today. <laughs> Ta da! I'm gonna put that in the. I'm gonna put that when I'm falling asleep tonight. It's gonna, you know, think about all the cool stuff that happened today, and that's gonna be like probably the last thought I think before I go to sleep. Did you hear that? She's if thinking of a black guy before she goes to sleep. Bigger, I can't fly for 24 hours. And she's thinking of a black guy who said it. There you go. Ha ha! The what? rice wins. Why would you want to fly anyway? Wouldn't you be in pain? Hey, I don't know. <laughs> you probably can ask somebody in San Francisco that. The men would breast job. No, I'll ask somebody in L.A. Everybody in L.A. has fake tits. I'll just ask somebody there. Ah, very true. Very true. Okay. That was his whole motivation. His whole motivation of that conversation <laughs> was for you to say that you had to ask somebody else 
which was a way for him to find out whether you had fake or real tits. I wasn't going that way. I you are I, such a liar. I was really trying bastard. to be the help. I was really trying to be You helpful. liar. I liar was, royal. See, liar Ruski. See, hold on. See, what had happened was, right, I was like, um, see, that's what, <laughs> Man, this is supposed to be an educational show. It was. I, see, I learned on a thousand ways to die that you I can't. learned something. <laughs> oh, here we go. Watch it. Watch it. What, what, what'd you learn, Lisa? She just told you what you learned. Huh? Oh, okay. You are slow. What, I thought you were supposed to be funny. Hey, man, it's 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 Florida. It's, it's a Florida weather. It's got me just, I don't know, man. This is it's a bad place. <laughs> wow. Florida's a weird place. It is. Thank you. This place is filled with Y'all perverts and child kids. molesters. Your kids are always missing. <laughs> they are. <laughs> this place, I'm from New York, and yeah. I've never seen as much crazy <laughs> crap as when I moved to Florida. There's perverts and friggin' child molesters everywhere. People drive around mm-hmm. with beers. And, I mean, I when I was a kid, you drove around once in your mm-hmm. lifetime, twice, and you're drinking a beer. There's people drinking beer, driving around every single day. They got to, they just don't care. It's like hillbilly haven out here. Eating faces. All the bath salts and eating faces. That is horrible down here. Have you heard about that? That was crazy. Only I know. Florida. What got me is that the everybody zombies. focused on the zombie, but my thing is the cop. How much shit do you have to see in your career for you to walk up on something like that and try to negotiate? <laughs> Just be like, oh, fuck, here we go again. <laughs> buddy, buddy, come on. Come on. You don't know what that's been. Come on. Come up. Talk to me about it. <laughs> Could you please I'm not stop even going to try to negotiate. Like if a zombie showed up at my front door, I'm not even going to try to fight with him. I haven't been grabbed and eaten in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Landry. Thank you so much. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm at least glad you got the joke before I, 30 hey, seconds later. I was going to try to tag on, but I figured, you know, I don't know the girl. I can't say something. I've already insulted with the breast job and the black guy thing, so I'm not trying to push my luck. You know, I'm just trying to be cordial and respectful. Why is the black guy thing got to be an insult? <laughs> hey, because, hey, you know. What so- kind of show is this where people are being cordial and respectful? Apparently not a good one. Bullshit. She's yelling outside in a parking lot <laughs> Although with, we, we, with gay <laughs> militia around her. Hey, Better it's a it's it. a pretty good show, man. <laughs> it's a pretty good show. I managed to snake a lot of you guys to come on. Snake? No, you have a really good show. Your show rings bell. Seriously, you have a very prestigious, well known show in oh, Florida. In, 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 the, in well, it's not just in Florida, man. I get I'm, listened to everywhere. We're actually now on Podomatic. We're normally in the top forty shows. See, on, I'm telling you, this it's a big deal. It's actually really. I have to shake your hand. Thank you. It was an honor for you to invite me. It really was. <laughs> On Stitcher Radio, we actually been breaking into the top 100. Why is she laughing? I'm just I'm trying to be sincere. He's just hoping. She, he, she's working. He, she knows you're working an angle to try to get invited back. Because we're down to like the I last think four I minutes. Just enjoying it. You know what, man? Just enjoying it. <laughs> you just, you're just happy to be in the top 100 of anything. Pretty Even much. if it's on tagging on my back. Even if it's on cops. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I was on TV, wasn't I? <laughs> I think that's the way they bring your buddy Dave Hines on stage every single time. Right off his first episode of Cops. I got credits. <laughs> I got credits. That's funny. So how do y'all know each other? How do y'all know each other? I met Kojo actually just for the first time uh, this past Wednesday at a show that a friend of ours, Dave Hines, put on at Billy Jack's in Largo, Florida. We had been friends on Facebook, but never met. Damn. Very true. And silence. That was very, very exciting. Some, I, I thought it could be a better story. It, so, you know, you, it's like we have this. expect this to be gay lovers or some shit? <laughs> well, we looked across the room. I saw him. He saw me. Hey, you know, things happen. Black and chubby. It's a, <laughs> it, 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 it's a good combo. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but, you know, I guess you know we're naturally having a little bit of good chemistry here. We're vibing. I'm busting your chops. Can, you, you, you haven't really busted my chops yet. Are you? Eh, do you feel it. nervous? Do, no, I, do no, I intimidate I, you, I, sir? Nope, nope, not at all. I'm fine. All right, just checking. Damn it! I'm trying to intimidate people. I can't be no. intimidating. Oh. I want to be. I'm like a fat bastard. I should be able to intimidate people. No, you're you're in Florida. You kind of blend in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. Snap. Ah. Oh. All right. Hey guys, we are down to the last five minutes of the show. And the last five minutes of the show is shameless plugs. Now, I'm sure, Kojo, you are going to have a lot less shameless plugs Pretty much, than yeah. Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that's just me giving yeah, you one more yeah. cut for being late. Hey, 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 I'm used to that. I'm used to hearing that. That's the big deal. Black guy came late. Oh, really? Shocking. 
Yeah, <laughs> except for when you're getting in trouble for coming early. <laughs> Where's the chicken? <laughs> Who cares? Okay. All right. Give us your shameless plugs. Uh, shameless plugs. I will be at the uh, Florida's Funniest Competition on August 22nd. I'm doing another show. Why are you bouncing in your chair while you're saying this? Because like I'm black fucking... and I got to keep the rhythm. All and right. And <laughs> September 6th, I'll be in <laughs> Hallandale, Florida, the uh, casino. Uh, I think the Florida Comedy Club is down there. All right. Have you played the Nudist col- Colony yet? The who? No. I'm. Sh- you know what? Thank you. I've been trying to get in there for the past year. This dude, J.C. Clark, is like, hey, I sent him a text. I sent him an email. I sent him a Facebook. He looks at me like, eh, fuck you. Maybe he, maybe he don't want no brothers. The Nudists don't, don't want, want. They don't want to be jealous. They, they don't think want you're no be black on. people. See? This, 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 see, this is racism. They don't want no black people in no Nudist Colonies. We need to infiltrate that situation and scene to procrastinate the whole matter of this of the sit of the whole aspiring situation thus far to be more prominent in that area to be more successful as a people as a race that's what i said bacon and cheese thank you <laughs> i understood the bacon and cheese i got that part lisa what you got coming up um i'll be performing at the nudist colony <laughs> See, I'm jealous, man. Will you be performing in clothes uh, or will you be nude? I would. No, I'm nude. actually. Um, I'm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in LA all next week. I'm at Rock the Keys. It's a. It's a music venue in Rancho Cucamonga, and then I'm gonna be at Flappers in Burbank next weekend or this coming weekend, and then LOL Comedy Club in San Antonio, Texas, Virginia Beach, Funny Bone, and then I go back down to Phoenix to finish up in August. One of my favorite places to play, Stand Up Scottsdale. So that's awesome. my August. And my calendar, is, it's on my website if anyone wants to check it out, lisalandry.com. There you go. And uh, What about Twitter? Join me on Facebook. Let's tweet each other, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably um, tweet uh, you in the next day. I'll probably send you out a copy of the show for you to blast all your friends at the excitement that we had cool. tonight, the chemistry. <laughs> you you the, got verbally uh, molested by a black man? <laughs> the what? I said you got. What verba- happened? I said you got to get verbally abused or, or propositioned by a black man over the. Oh, it was harmless. He's just joking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> we have progressed so far in society. Well, like, we- verbally abused, like that. That's just so harsh. We yeah. have progressed so much as a society. The white girl's like the black guy. I ain't scared of him. Eh. Tyrone. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, please, Malik. Shut up, Malik. Shut up. I'm not scared of you. I don't even know what That's to say to that. <laughs> you stumped the fat man. Tyrone is talking shit again. Oh, shut up, Tyrone. <laughs> shut up. You are the well, gay sounding black abusive. man. Yeah, I didn't mean to say abusive. I don't know. That was just the first fat word that came out. Like I abused racist. Buffets. Calling <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> you racist. <laughs> oh man. Wow, I tried to I tried to uh, friend Lisa Landry on Facebook. Got a, an error message saying, too many friends. Sorry, this user has already reached the maximum number of friends. Go fuck yourself. She, she I'm, does, she yeah, doesn't. but I'm on Twitter now, so I'll follow you back on Twitter if you want. Yeah, okay. she's following me. We, we, connected that way. we, we have, okay. we have mm. you could have multiple 160 character conversations. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing. So we yeah, are down. To, so we are down to the last minute. So I guess we're going to talk about my only shameless plug, which is I'm going to be back here next week. I'm going to be doing some open mics. I am going to be doing Kicking Wings in August, and uh, we got some really cool shows coming up in the next couple of months. I'm sorry, the next few weeks we got Josh Schneed calling in. Um, we have Ward Smith who's going to be coming into the studio. Uh, Ward's been a comedian for 25 years. He just had some. Uh, TV exposure again with uh, Army Wives and Burn Notice. Great guy. It's going to be a fun show. Cool. Lisa, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your parking lot excursions to spend some time with us with horrible cell phone reception. <laughs> it's been quite a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really appreciate you having me on. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you for calling in. We thank had a good guys. time. I will get you the show in the next day or two <laughs> and play my play my music, bitch. Nolan, let's get this on the road. 
Thanks for listening in to the Let's Be Frank show on ComedySlamRadio.com. If you missed this show or would like to catch up on past shows, visit us on Stitcher Radio and iTunes at Let's Be Frank's Podcast. And have a great night. We'll see you next week. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from ComedySlamRadio.com, where we put the .com in